Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Thank you. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number one two or one three one in these days of Lenten journey. One three one. <clears throat> In these days of Lenten journey, we have seen and we have heard the call to show justice in the lives of those we serve. We reach out to those who are homeless, to those whose life without warmth. In the coolness of evening, we shelter dreams. We will clothe them in mercy and peace. Journey, we have seen and we have heard the call to sow justice in the lives of those we serve. We open our eyes to the hungry and see the faces of Christ as we nourish all people whose hunger for food. May their faith in our God be renewed. In these days of Lenten journey, we have seen and we have heard the call to hold justice in the lives of those we serve. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my in thoughts, thoughts and in my in words, words, in what I have I done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, of Virgin, Mary ever Virgin, all the all angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, pray to pray for me to the Lord, to the Lord our, God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
let us pray. Convert us, O God our Savior, and instruct our minds by heavenly teaching that we may benefit from the works of Lent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, be holy for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal, you shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord, you shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborer. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind, but you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judgment. Show neither partiality to the weak nor difference to the mighty, but judge your fellow men justly. You shall not go about spreading slander among your kin, nor shall you stand by idly when your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. Though you may have to reprove him, do not incur sin because of him. <clears throat> Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. The response is, your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your, Your words, words, Lord, Lord are, are spirit, spirit and, and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, <laughs> rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your, Your words, words, Lord, Lord are, are spirit, spirit and life. life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true all of them just. Your words, words Lord, Lord, are spirit, spirit and, and life. life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, words Lord, Lord, are spirit, spirit and, life. and life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily and fitly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne 
and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another. As a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those to his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry, and feed you, or thirsty, and give you drink? When did you see, we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did it for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first book of the Bible, Genesis, we hear about the story of the patriarchs from Abraham down to the time of Joseph and how the Israelites end up down in Egypt. The book of Exodus tells us how God sends Moses to free his people from a slavery in Egypt and gives them the commandments. The book of Leviticus uh, basically spells out the law in great detail. If you really want to do penance in Lent, uh, read the book of Leviticus. It talks about all the ways to offer animal sacrifices, things like that, which, thank God, we don't have to do anymore. But also, it gives us the basis for uh, our, the commandments and how we show our love for God by observing them. And today, we had a pretty good summary of uh, the Ten Commandments, basically. They always find it such a, a mystery as to why so many people are so concerned about the Ten Commandments that they just don't want to see them anywhere in public buildings or whatever. Uh, you wonder what their problem really is. Uh, they're just dictates of common sense. If you want to go out with other people, you can't steal from them, you can't kill them from them, you can't ruin their reputation, etc., etc. Anybody with a brain at all could see that, gee, this is something everybody should do, and we should publish these laws everywhere and certainly teach them in our schools all over. Um, it's obvious to me the answer, reason, the reason why people hate the commandments and don't want to see them anywhere is because it's the work of the devil. The devil is filled with hatred. He wants everybody to hate everybody, and... Observing the commandments causes you to do kind things to one another, and for that reason, he's so opposed. In the gospel today, we have the story of the judgment, the sheep on one side, the goats on the other. And the point of the story is that whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do unto the Lord. So if you want to please the Lord, uh, show your kindness to your neighbor around us. If you want to show your love for God, love your neighbor. And if you do these things, or you're pleasing the Lord. And on Judgment Day, that will be the criteria in which we're judged. How much have you loved? How much have you loved your neighbor? How much have you shown love for me by loving your neighbor? 
So it's always something for us to think about, and when we sometimes have trouble with some of our neighbors or people around us, rather than being filled with uh, resentment toward them or whatever, uh, realize that they are probably the ones that need our love the most. And so try to reflect the love of Jesus to them by your words of kindness and forgiveness and so on. So it's something for us to think about. And uh, one of the greatest things we can do for those who rub us the wrong way is to pray for them, of course, and then try to kill them with acts of kindness. Today, as we reflect on these readings, we ask Jesus to always keep them in our mind and then to realize that we show our love for God by loving those around us. So to really try hard then today, show your love for Jesus by what you say and do. With that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us to see the face of Jesus in the faces of our brothers and sisters. Grant us this, Lord, of the favors we now ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, and for all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in our love of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the innocent victims of war in Gaza and Israel, Russia and the Ukraine, that peace may come to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those consecrated to God by the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience, that they may persevere in their commitment to the Lord and serve with open hearts and willing spirits, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from the practice of their faith, that they may respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit during this sacred season of Lent and come back to the Lord, seeing his pardon and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may share in Christ's risen glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the victims of snowstorms, floods, and other natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for John Tate, who died uh, Friday. He'll be buried here on Wednesday. And also for Larry Nabolsky, who died uh, Sunday. Uh, and for his family, he'll be buried here on Thursday. We pray for them that they may know the joys of eternal life and for their families who mourn their passing. We pray to the Lord. We offer this Mass this morning for uh, the living and deceased the Carol and Helen uh, Eidenauer family, we pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have the spread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> May this devout oblation be acceptable to you, O Lord, 
and by your power it may sanctify our manner of life and gain for us the conciliation and pardon of Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disorders of affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold firmly to the things that endure eternally. And so with angels and saints, we praise you as with one voice we all claim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and blemished sacrifices, which we offer firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to guard her, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all her gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, what they offered for themselves and for all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in the hope of health and well-being, and paying homage to you, their eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, and Andrew, and all the saints, we ask that through their prayers and merits in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. And therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the salvation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count them in the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, your God as Almighty Father, giving you thanks and praise, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, the resurrection of the, his resurrection to the dead and glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, we are, we are people and your holy people offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with their serene and kindly countenance and accept them as you once were pleased, accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar and high, in the sight of your divine majesty, that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son and be filled with this every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us, marked to the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all asleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, and those sinners who hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Isidore, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon to Christ our Lord. Through him whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I do not at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're ready there, and I myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number one, three, three. Save your people. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. One thing I ask, O Lord, this I seek, to dwell forever in your house, that I may gaze on your loveliness all the days of my life. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O Lord. For you will hide me in the shelter of your wings and from the arrows of my foes. You set me high on a mountain top, saved from my distress. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your love. Save your people, O Lord.
let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacraments, we may experience health in mind and body, so that kept safe from in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Enlighten the minds of your people, we pray, O Lord, with the light of your glory, that they may see what must be done and have the strength to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join together in praying for the successful completion of our parish center. Loving, Loving Father, Father, we come, come to your adoration. adoration. May, May our hearts be open, be to, your open to your guidance on this journey. This journey. We have bestowed on our church Church's community, community the gift to openly worship, worship and praise your name. We humbly, we humbly give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and, and talents. talents. Jesus, Jesus pour out, out your Holy your Spirit. Holy Spirit. As, As we gather in prayer to build the faithful prairie center for all generations. O sacred heart of Jesus, Jesus, pray for us. us. Blessed, Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, pray for us. Saint Isidore, pray, pray, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 128, led by the Spirit. <clears throat> Led by the Spirit of our God, we go to fast and pray. With Christ into the wilderness, we join his paschal way. Rent not your garments, rent your hearts, turn back your lives to me. Thus says our kind and gracious God, whose reign is liberty. Led by the Spirit, we confront temptation face to face. And know full well we must rely on God's redeeming grace. On bread alone you cannot live, nor nourish by the word. We seek the will of God to live. This is our drink and food. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.